Good morning. It is Friday. It's Friday. We're going to the office. Good morning, guys. I got my backpack on. I look like I'm headed to school. And we're going to go to the office. Today's supposed to be a nice day, so maybe we'll go for a walk. Manny, you want to go for a walk? Probably. Okay, can we just look at my hair right now? It's not very cute, but... I failed as a vlogger today, you guys. I didn't vlog very much. We even went for a quick walk over to the church um, later on in the day after we were already home and then we went back later. Um, and I didn't vlog it because I failed. I'm so sorry. But tomorrow we actually have a baby shower to go to. It is um, for, you know, the whole family. So Manny's going to go with me because it's like uh, you can bring your husband to it, which I know a lot of baby showers are not like that. But I'm glad I can bring him. I never can for stuff like this. So... Um, you know, I'm, I'm glad that of course I can, but, um, we're going to go in the morning, um, to TJ Maxx. I'm really kind of a chill night. Manny made spaghetti bolognese, which I call spaghetti bologna because my mom calls it that, joking around with Manny, and I think it's so funny for some reason. I talked to a friend from Indiana. She's on my worship team there. Uh, I kind of caught up with her a little bit. We were texting and, um, watched The Good Doctor. If you guys don't watch that, that is such a good show, you guys. I love that show. I love Grey's. You guys know that. I'm obsessed with Grey's Anatomy, but um, we've been getting up earlier, so I know I'm like all over the place. This is what happens when I don't vlog all day, because I feel like I have to catch up with friends, which you guys are my friends, but um, I we've been getting up earlier, so we've been getting up. I'll tell you what time. We've been getting up at 6.30. Um, so... I've been waking up at 6.30 for a little while now, but I usually fall back asleep um, after I wake up, obviously. Um, but I, I haven't always, like I used to get up super early, like 5 o'clock in the morning throughout the week because I had to drive further to get to the church I worked at and all that. Now that I live really, really close to where I'm working, I haven't been getting up as early. Um, and so man and I have decided to start getting up at 6.30 every day. Um, because like I said, I've been waking up at that time for a while. Good morning, guys. So I haven't done my hair yet. I've done my makeup and gotten ready. Um, it's not even 10 a.m. yet on a Saturday, and I'm ready almost. But we're going to go to TJ Maxx. Like I said last night, we're going to go there really quickly. Um, Manny got this steamer from Amazon that he's been cleaning things with this morning. And so he steamed our couch, and it looks really, really nice. But we're just kind of waiting for it to dry because um, we have the pillows and everything on the ground. But... Um, he steamed the windows, it makes, it makes it look really good. The door, I mean, he's just really deep cleaning. And um, this is really, really sweet and I'm really thankful for that. Um, we're gonna do the showers and everything. And then I think once everything's deep clean, I'll probably just do my apartment tour um, because I think it'll, it'll look, everything will look nicer and um, I think that'll be nice. So I, I have it on my, I have it in my reminders actually to do it. <laughs> I don't know this one. You turned on the one song I don't know. This is Mike's new one. You should have listened to it. I've heard it, but I don't know it. Are you glad Mac's back? Mac's back. Mac Brock. I would accent that. Why are they not accenting that? We're having a party over there. I don't know 
this one. This is another one has new ones. I gotta think about what season he's gonna be born on. All right, so we're home. I got a compliment on my hair in Walgreens, which I think is funny because it is not looking that good, but I like to get more compliments on it when I don't do anything. So maybe I'm doing something wrong <laughs> when I style it, I don't know. Um, I picked up a couple of things at TJ Maxx and I'm gonna put them in this bag while I talk to you guys. Um, so we have a baby shower today in a couple of hours so just had some spaghetti Manny made spaghetti yesterday he made a lot he always makes enough that we can have it for a while anyway I got this um it has stripes on it and it says new to the tribe um so he is a little boy that uh the shower is for it has an arrow on it I've seriously realized that anything with an arrow on it I like that's just the way that I am apparently it's something that I like I have this little wish list on Amazon for my kids <laughs> whenever I have them. And um, I know that might sound strange to some people, but I've always wanted babies and look at baby stuff. So I have a wish list on there for our future baby. And everything, almost, <laughs> girl or boy, like anything like this, has some type of an arrow on it somewhere. So I think I just like that. And I like stripes too. I don't know. I thought it was really cute. And, uh, look like it'd be something simple and then I got a little blanket which is really soft and really nice and there's a cute little boy in the picture um but anyways it's just really soft and it has feathers feathers are another thing that I really like but it is so nice what's the material of this 100% polyester so it feels very nice um and I just thought it would be a good gift I'm leaving the hangers on it I don't know if that's like something people do I do it a lot because I always need hangers so I figure why not just give them the hanger with it because I don't know it'll be easier to take out of the bag and also it would be nice if they need hangers if they don't they can always just get rid of it I guess but I always need hangers and with a new baby I'm sure they're getting a lot of stuff today so they may they may need some hangers Guys, as well. it's Sunday <clears throat> to go home from church just a little bit ago I'm gonna try to open this curtain up so I can have a little bit of light this room is a total mess, so I, I'm sorry if you guys see a mess in the background. It's not even really a mess, it's just like things that like, where do I put them, you know what I mean? Um, we have our exercise bike, which that's not a mess that's supposed to be here, but you can see like my filming set up, and I want to sit here because of natural light, I'm going to sit back a little bit. So anyways, this morning was amazing, you guys. It was so refreshing. God's presence was so amazing. It was one of those days at church where you just dwell in the presence and and get refreshed. And I needed that. Um, I've been really, um, I, don't, I don't know how to word it without sounding super dramatic. I've been really like discouraged lately, I feel like. Um, and I don't ever want this to sound complainy because I have such a good life. And I am not a complainer at all. I mean, seriously, I, I really don't like complaining. There's like wood back there. What is going on? I gotta get all this straightened up before I do my apartment tour. But anyway, I don't ever want to seem like I'm complaining or anything like that because that is never my intention. Um, because I, I, I recognize that I have such a great life and I'm so blessed and so just honored to do what I do and to have the life that I have, to have the husband that I have, to have the mom and dad and the whole family that I have. I am so blessed and I, I recognize that. But lately, um, I've been going through kind of a season of discouragement and I didn't share that or say anything about that because it was like, why would I talk about um, that? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know because I'm, I'm in the season and I'm more of the type I like to talk about, I like to be real about where I'm at, but I specifically like to talk about things after the fact, you know what I mean? And I do talk about a lot of things while I'm going through it, of course, but for stuff like what I'm going through right now, I prefer to talk about it after because I know an answer is coming, I know that God is working on my behalf, and I'm really excited to share with you guys what's going on when everything is, when I'm through this season. And um, 
so I know God's gonna do something. And so it's just like kind of been this discouraging season for me. My hair is like falling flat. I need to get it shaped up. Sorry, I'm all over the place. It's been this discouraging season for me. And there's just um, a specific thing that I have my heart on right now that I want so badly. And I know that this is not true. This is not, like I'm not saying like, oh, this is what's happening. But it's one of those seasons where you can, you can start to feel like, God, why are you giving certain things to other people? And then those same things don't come as easily for me. You know what I mean? And and it's not like I'm blaming him. I know he's got a plan. I know he's smarter than I am. And his ways are higher than my ways. His thoughts are higher than my thoughts. He's, he's better than me. And every time I've ever been to a season like this, he always proves to me that this is why. You know, it's it's he's, he's on time. He's always on time. Maybe not on our time. <laughs> but our time is not perfect. He's always on time, though. He, he's never late to anything. But, you know, it's just been a season where if I'm not careful, I let myself feel bad for myself and um you know when at the same time God has given me so much and he he doesn't owe me anything you know and that's one thing that I've been just saying every day is that God I know you don't owe me anything if you never did another thing for me the rest of my life which I know you're going to because you're a good father and you love me but if you never did ever again you've done enough you've done more than enough you know and so that's just kind of the season that I'm in right now. It's not a season of being mad at God. I'm not mad. I'm not, you know, I love him so much. And and I am just serving him as much as I can. I'm trying to do anything I can because I love him and I know he loves me. And I know that I'm his child and you are his child. Um, but, you know, it's one of those seasons where if I'm being real, if I'm not careful... I can start to feel bad for myself. And then I think, well, look at all this amazing stuff I have. I know God's going to give me more. I know that he is going to, he's going to come through and he's going to answer my prayers and he hears me. And I know all of that. But some days it's like, man, you know, it's hard sometimes. And I try to be real about stuff like this and open about stuff like this because I do work in ministry. I am a full-time ministry and I work in a church and all of that kind of stuff. And I feel like sometimes people start to think that people like me, we have our life all together and everything's great and everything's perfect and we never go through anything. We have, I have a beautiful life. I have a great life. But there are bad days and there are seasons where it's like, man, you know, what about me? And, and you start to feel left out and you start to compare yourself and, you're, and your path to other people's. And when in reality, you're so blessed. And, and I know that God is going to give me the desires of my heart, you know, and I, I know that he's such a good dad and I feel like in this season of my life I am getting to know God in a new way and I know that that seems crazy because you're like Rose you've been a Christian since you were born you know <laughs> like I've been in church my whole life and I've been I got saved when I was six you know and I got baptized when I was like eight or nine like I have been you know in the church my whole life, but I feel like I'm getting to know God in a new way, and I feel like that that is what the season that I'm in is for, you know, and I think that I'm getting to know him in a more intimate way, um, I, I'm getting to know him, not that I didn't know he was my father before, I did, obviously, but I think for a, a long time, and not that I didn't have a relationship with God, I, I have, you know, um, but I think for a while, I kind of treated it sometimes more like I worked for him and and again not saying I didn't have a good relationship with him. I did but I feel like sometimes I wasn't as open with him and I wasn't as honest with him and I kind of just at times would talk to him like he was my boss you know like well what do you need me to do like send me somewhere and do something for you you know what I mean and that's fine that's good but I think that I'm getting to know him in a whole different way, which I always knew he was my father. But I think I'm getting to know him as dad, you know, as somebody that I can just tell everything to. And not that I didn't before, but sometimes I would sugarcoat it a little bit, you know, or sometimes I'd be like, well, I, I can't say that to God. You know, I don't want to be like rude. You know what I mean? And you guys ever feel that way? But I feel like now I'm in this season of my life where I'm very real with him. And I've always preached this, but I think now I'm really starting to fully understand that God can handle it. He can handle doubts, and he can handle fear, and he can even handle you getting mad. You know, if you're a Christian at one point, you're going to get mad at God, and it doesn't make sense, and you have no right, and I have no right, but you're going to because it's a relationship. 
it's not just a religion, but it's a relationship with him. He's always right. He's always on time. He's always perfect. He doesn't change. But as humans, we do get frustrated. And he knows that, and he can handle that. And when I watched The Shack, the movie The Shack, which I think is a beautiful, incredible movie. I watched it like five times. I highly recommend it. When I watched that, I think that's when this kind of thing in my heart started to shift. Like, man, not that I'm not close to him, but I think I could be closer. You know, I think I can get to know him on a deeper level. And when you work in ministry, it's really easy to get caught up in, oh, well, I, I work for him. You know, I work in ministry. You know, my job, he just wants me to just tell people about him, you know. And uh, and then that's when you can kind of get caught up. And what about me, God? Why didn't you give me this? And and, and I feel like that the season that I'm in, which, again, I'm going to make a video about what I'm talking about right now. There is a specific thing going on in my life that I am going to discuss in a video after I'm through this season. I don't want to do it right now. Because I want to be able to sit down and do it when, number one, I feel comfortable. Right now, I don't feel comfortable talking about it. I know I'm very open. I don't feel super comfortable right now um, discussing it. I mean, like, even in my personal life, I only talked to Manny and my mom about it and my sister. Um, but, you know, when I feel comfortable. And also, I feel like I want to do it when, when, I'm, when I'm through it, you know, um, and that could change depending on certain things. I just feel like I'm getting to know God on a closer level and on a deeper level. And I feel like it's such a beautiful place that I'm in. And I've, I've experienced, dis uh, you know, discouragement, of course, like 100%. Uh, and I'm in feeling bad for myself. And I, f I feel real human feelings, you know. People in ministry, pastors, we experience real human feelings, you know. And we, we go, we understand. We've been there. And I think I'm just getting to know him in a, in a different way. And I think I always will. I think that's part of a walk with him. Part of a relationship with him is not just getting to a place and then quitting. You know, like, oh, I'm close to him. We're, we're cool. You know, but also continuously getting closer to him. I want to share this verse with you guys. Because this verse has been on my heart. And it was, it was funny because I, I read it the other morning when I got up. Because we've been getting up at the crack of dawn every day. <laughs> been doing my devotionals and everything my phone is so slow you guys today we had a guest speaker it was a missionary and and we didn't get to live stream today because of um he's a missionary and some of the stuff that he was sharing was stuff that we couldn't broadcast for his own safety and everything so i'm i'm writing a song i wrote it actually it's already written about this verse basically and i when i first started writing i didn't really know that it was but part of the part of the verse of the song is ties in with this verse and this is the english standard version i read different versions of the bible and, and i don't really you know some i really like the message version for certain things and then uh niv or english standard is good as well um but anyways this is matthew 10 29 to 31 english standard version um are not two sparrows sold for a penny and not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore you are of more value than many sparrows. And that to me, that's one of the verses that I'm, I love. Um, there's actually him about that verse as well. But um, I love that verse because, you know, it just goes to show me like, I, I think the Bible is so beautiful and it has so much in it that, is so valuable and so important. He loves all of his creation. I mean, look around and see all the beautiful stuff, you know, the the birds and I live in a particularly beautiful part of the United States, I think, with the mountains and everything and and he created all of that. And it's so amazing and we go and we sight <laughs> see all this beautiful stuff that he created and and he cares about us more than that. You know, he cares about us more. He loves us more and he sees more in us. He looks at us the same way that I look at these mountains here in just awe of us. You know, we are his, his children, his babies, you know, we're his and he calls us his own. And I think that that's so special. And so I've just grown a lot closer to him in this season and I'm excited to share more with you about everything God's doing in my life because he's, he's good. He's faithful. I'm going to have to reschedule my wisdom teeth removal um, because I planned it for right before Easter and I thought, oh, I'll be fine by that Sunday, which first of all, I guess I don't really know that. And secondly, um, I have to have a Thursday practice before Easter. I don't want to just do it on Sunday. So it was on a Tuesday, the Tuesday before Easter. So I, I don't want to sing that quickly, like two days after because it can cause a 
lot of problems, dry sockets and stuff if you overexert in the beginning. So I want to reschedule it. So I'm probably going to call tomorrow and do that. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Remember, you are so incredible. Jesus loves you so much. I love you so much. Manny loves you so much. And we'll see you guys in the next video.